Welcome back to Coach's Corner. I am Coach David Wells. Thank you for joining us. This is session two in throwing and the mechanics of throwing a baseball. Session one, we went over the set position. Getting your legs, getting your hips set, where you're coming up, boom, getting turned. Coming up, getting turned. Now we work on one, work on the next process. The next process is simply, and I like to do it this way for the younger kids. As you get older, I can show you how it develops into a little bit more velocity. But you wanna get them, once they get into that set position, they're looking at their target right here. I like to have the young kids, especially T-ballers, use their glove to point to that target and then bring the ball back. So if I'm throwing to a target over here, I'm gonna point straight at it. What that does, it gives them a line of reference. I'm throwing the ball there gets their eyes and heads trained there, and then I want to get them to get the ball back. If I can get the ball back away from that neutral position, and with the little kids, just to show you, depending on the size of kids, traditional baseball grips, just the two fingers. Some kids with small hands, they go three. Some are full grippers. I'm not a big fan of a full grip. The key is it gets down in your palm. Young kids, you go three fingers. Smaller hands. My son, I started him straight with just two fingers. It was harder for him. These fingers were resting on it, which you normally don't do but it helped him control the ball. He felt comfortable. So find the grip that's comfortable for your particular players. But once they do, we want to take that ball and we want to point it away. Get that ball away from the, your body. And so you're kind of sitting there and you're almost full spread. My feet are balanced. My knees are slightly bent. I'm looking and aiming at my target here. I got the ball pointed opposite of my target. So now as I step, my glove comes down and the ball comes through. And when I finish, I'm looking at my target this way. So once again, coming up, feet are set, point at the target, ball away from the target, step, and bring it to you. Ball's here, feet are set, point at the target, away from the target, step, and bring it to you. So what we're doing is by breaking it down into steps, when I do the drill to kids, we take step one we did last time, which was come up, one, two, three, is step and throw. So we're looking at it this way. It's filled it. One, set the feet. Getting those feet set. It's number one. Two, number three, step and follow through. So what we're going to do, we're bringing the boys back over. We get Tommy in here. We're going to go through the one, two, three, and have him throwing me the ball so y'all can see him step and throw. We'll break it down for you, and then we will have some fun and talk to y'all later. All right, so now we're on to phase two of our drill. Phase two of the drill that we want to do. If you watched the last video, you saw all the Tommy's coming up. Boom, getting a set position. Now we're going to bring Tommy back in here. We're going to have him get set position and get a throwing position. All right. So here we go. Bring Tommy in. Tommy, ready? I'm going to hand you a ball. On this particular drill, son, here's what we want to do. Facing me. Last time, when we did this, you came up and you got position ready, right? So now we're going to get position ready, aim, and draw. Don't throw yet. Set. Set. Ready? One. Two. All right. Reset. Don't hop. Step. Ready? Catch it. One. Two. Knees are bent. Can't throw like this, can you? These are bent. These are bent. Be athletic. Ready? Catch. One, two. Just like that. get that arm back, son. Hey, get that ball away from me. There you go. Do you look like me? All right. Here we go. Ready? Baseball ready? Catch. One. Two. Perfect, perfect. There we go. Ready? One more time. One more time. Ready? Catch. One. Two. Just like that. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right. Now, 
I'm gonna roll the ball to you. When you catch it, I'm gonna say one, two. Field it, clean. Position one, knees are bent. Position two, arms are ready. Okay? Here we go. Roll on the ball, catch it. Catch one, one, two. Just like that, flip it back. Let's do it again, field that ball clean first. Here we go, ready? Baseball ready, grounder coming. One, two, there we go. Hey, go to clean, let's do two, a couple more, a couple more. Baseball ready, rolling it in. One, two, right here, all right. Last step we're going to do today, we're going to go ahead and bring in, I'm going to back Tommy up a little bit further away from me, and I'm going to let him go ahead and throw a few to me, all right? So on the throw, hold this, Tommy. When we're doing the throw part, the main thing we'll remember, he's coming up. He's getting set. That's one. Two. Number three is step and throw all at the same time. You ready, Tommy? We're going to mirror through this. So we got catch it. One. Two, three, a step, and throw. He didn't step. All right, ready? Catch. Catch. One, two, three, step, and throw. All right, you ready to do it? Flip me the ball. Hey, make sure when you throw. Hey, so you get set. That way you can step and throw to me, all right? All right, so I'm going to back him up just a little bit because he's got a decent arm, and I don't want to get peppered. Catch it. One, two, three. Just like that. Good job. Do a couple more, just like that. Ready? Baseball ready? Rolling it in. One, two, three. Okay, make sure. Baseball ready? Making you move just a hair. Get in front of it. One, two, three. There you go. All right, so the last one we're going to What we did today, just to kind of rehash, I just really wanted to focus on building the ball and coming up into that clean stance position, getting the hips set, getting the feet ready. I believe whether it's hitting, field or anything, like I said earlier, getting the feet set, getting the hips ready, that's the key moving forward as they progress for, from ages four, five, six, seven, eight, on up through baseball. If they can learn how to get their hips in the right position, step the right way, whether it's stepping towards the pitcher when you're hitting, which we'll be going over in our next video series, or if it's stepping towards the target when they're throwing, getting the hips set, getting the feet moving the right way, that's the key to everything. So that's why I wanted to break this down, do the hips and feet, and then break it down into the arms. Once again, different ages, I do the glove point for the young kids. When they get a bit older, sometimes you'll see them bring the hand in and they lead with the elbow. Younger kids, it's hard to get them to lead with the elbow. So breaking these videos down, just wanted to bring you all the basic steps in throwing. Adjust them as you need to your players. Each player is a little bit different, how they grip the ball, how they hold the ball. Their stride, their arm strength varies. Some players have a bad habit of just right here. And that's what I want to break. I want to get that ball back, whether it's straight back pointed all the way away from or if it's a three quarters. It really comes down to your player and where the comfort level is. Some players are a little bit more comfortable right here than out here. My son, Tommy, he's always got a subtle bend in the elbow, but he comes through at the right spot. So I didn't correct him from go straight armed. The key is just getting them set, pointed in the right direction, step in the right direction, and following through. The rest will develop as later and Hope you enjoyed this. Remember, if you like the videos, leave a comment. Love to hear your comments. Subscribe, like us, share us out to your friends, and we will see you next time.